<laughs> well, here I am with Tony Heptonstall, and we're talking about blogging and wikis and bookmarking and all that sort of stuff. And Tony's with the Dunedin uh, Hospitality um, Department, and he's the cookery, right? Tony, you tell us what, everything you're about and what you're planning to do and all that sort of, you know, you know what I mean. Um, just starting to get involved with online learning, um, wanting to develop um, a more user-friendly way of students using computer technology. Uh, we want to put some more videos on there, we want to have more pictures, discussion groups for our students who probably would never have thought of using a computer this way. Um, most of the time our students may use email if we're lucky. Um, a lot of the time they're using texting, um, so we may look at taking advantage of that. Um, and we want to have a resource that we can share with other people so we can get feedback and comments. Um, sharing to me is one of the most important issues uh, with this sort of technology. Well, tell us a bit about that. I mean, you, you're in with the Tourism Hospitality Network. Mm. What, what is that and how are you benefiting from that or not? Um, with the, the network has lots of different links um, and people who are further down the, uh, down the path of developing material than I am. Um, so they've got lots of advice and lots of information on what not to do, how to do things, different um, computer programs that I've not heard of. Um, most of which are just so simple to use, it's unbelievable. Mm, mm. Um, I mean, is that what you mean by their user uh, usability? Uh, easy yeah. simple to use. That, so you find these tools are simple enough? Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Could I know that there are people who are doing the similar? I'm doing a flexible learning course who are really struggling with the technology. Mm. Um, it could just be with it, with the way that I learn. I like to experiment to try and see see what happens if it breaks down, get a new computer mm. sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I get the feeling you should have been a mechanic. I <laughs> yeah, like to tweak around with it. Yeah, you haven't seen some of my food. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what at this stage, here we are shooting video. What mm. other, I mean, what do you plan to do with this video and other things you plan to do? Um, the next stage will be uh, deciding what I want to look at first and then breaking it down into smaller components and deciding how I want to get the information across for each of those components within a course. Mm -hmm. um, I don't just want to have the same sort of presentation style throughout mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, video is, is using this type of uh, video, uh, Google video is a very quick way of getting information across to mm -hmm. people because it's such an easy thing to use. Um, but um, 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 now I've lost myself. <laughs> but what I mean, <laughs> the thing I was thinking about is um, why do you think this is an alternative route? I mean, uh, it, um, I, unfortunately, with cookery, the the problem is you've still got to be there and taste the food. So it's still got to be that interaction between a lecturer and a student. Mm. Um, they're also um, there is a possibility <laughs> so of doing that. There is a possibility of doing lots of the theory stuff online. Um, yeah. It doesn't actually need a lecturer to be there to get the information across. Yeah. For yeah. The majority of the time, um, giving feedback either through texting or, or whatever is mm. definitely a possibility. I mean, but how are you fitting this in as a teacher? I mean, you, I mean, like you say, you're, you're on this computer. There it is. You know, fiddling around with blogs and photos and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you get? Do you have any funding? Available for doing this sort of thing, or there's um, been some information come out about funding very recently, which I'm just about to start to look into. Oh, that'd be the program development fund. Yep. that's a target polytechnic funding. Yeah. Yep, I think there is also some internal department funding that oh, okay. may still be available. Okay. Um, not so sure how much of that's been used up this year. Mm. Um, but within our department at the moment, we're fairly pressurised with staff. Yeah. Um, but this is this is mainly stuff that I'm doing in my own time. Yeah. I just don't have the time to do this. But I, I, I mean, work. are you doing this in your own time because you love your job, or because are you doing this because you can actually see a benefit to these that. things in your in your other sort of life? Um, I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Phil's watching this. <laughs> um, um, no, it's just something that I've just found really fascinating. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, just incredibly interesting mm. and. Um, Hopefully it's going to make my job easier in the long term mm. as well. Mm. Okay. Not my job's really hard now, but yeah. well, we've gone for five minutes. We better stop there. And um, uh, I don't know if it's been five five minutes, but <laughs> anyway, it's been a pretty long video. <laughs> Get rid of students. <laughs> he loves us. That's why he's